Hi, my name is Kevin Oliveira, and I'm a Senior Product Marketing Manager for Data Security Solutions here at Forcepoint. We recently launched Forcepoint Classification powered by Git Visibility. It's an innovative product that leverages artificial intelligence and machine learning to deliver unparalleled accuracy for securing data with Forcepoint DLP and Forcepoint One Integrated DLP. In this video, Mark Bloomsma, a consulting sales engineer with Forcepoint, will be demonstrating with just a few simple steps how easy it is to apply Forcepoint classification within Forcepoint DLP. Mark is going to show how to set up a simple classification scheme and how to take the classifications and add them to the Forcepoint DLP system to apply the policies based on the classification. Here's Mark. So if I open my Forcepoint classification platform, um, I'm already logged in, so it goes fast. Normally you would get a, a login prompt um, and I can click configuration. So there is a simple configuration wizard that we need to go through, which asks you first, which compliance uh, tags will the end users be able to select? So there is a, a set of predefined uh, compliance regulations in there, ranging from ITAR, EAR to GDPR, HIPAA, PCI. So I will leave it based on the GDPR HIPAA and PCI, uh, mainly because I'm based in EMEA. So when I click next, um, there is another set of classification, um, which are most commonly used for default, more commercial uh, companies, organizations, and people that use and integrate with Azure uh, information protection. I will stick to the commercial uh, uh, setting. So the next, which plugins do you want to enable? Uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. I will select all of them. And then it will start asking you what to do. So do you want to force classification? Do you want to warn people or just log and ignore and leave them to uh, and allow them to not classify data? I will leave it to warn. Uh, same when you go printing, uh, I will warn them. Will you allow users to lower classification or not? Um, I will. Um, auto classification. So what's the default classification? I will leave that to public. Um, but you can also pick one of the others. Next, you can specify on the office applications. What do you want to do with headers, footers, uh, and watermarks? So I have enabled them all. Normally, you will probably have either a footer or a header and not both. So let's keep it with footers and I will leave the watermark uh, present. And you can modify these and, and tune them to your liking um, as you go along. Then Outlook policies. So what do you want to do uh, when people uh, send emails? Do you want to warn them, uh, force them, uh, block them for sending unclassified files um, and so on? Do you want to inherit classification from uh, um, files that are classified. So, so if somebody adds a classif classified attachment, will the email automatically inherit uh, that classification, yes or no? And again, what is the public uh, classification? Then next you define on your Outlook what the visual tagging needs to be, headers, footers again, obviously no watermarks on an email. Um, and then you can decide based on the labels, which domains, uh, people can and cannot send emails to, right? So for public, most of the time you will allow everything, but once it's an internal email, you may might want to warn them when they start sending emails to uh, public email domains like Gmail or Hotmail. Eh? And the same goes for confidential emails and highly confidential emails. And then you're done. It's, it's that simple, right? You have your, you have, you have set up your, uh, compliancy or your uh, classification policy. In your policy management, you have these file label content classifiers. And here you can define classification labels. So I've taken these eh, GDPR PII, that's one, and the internal uh, one as well. So you can create these based on what you have defined in uh, 
the enforcement classification and then in your policy you can leverage those as a condition and the condition can be either or so if the file is internal and regardless if it's gdpr pci or whatever the sub classification is you can take action but you can also make combinations right so if it's internal and gdpr pii then i want to trigger this rule and you can define all the destinations that you are used to enforcement dlp so you can control from one single policy what is and is not allowed to be done um, with such content. So previously I've already triggered some events. So you can see based on um, the API integration with uh, the Cloud Apps DLP, I can see file, this file with this classification was downloaded from um, Google Workspace. Um, and here we can see this user copy the file with this classification to removable media. And in this case, the action was denied. So that is really briefly the integration with uh, Forcepoint DLP.